And they did go ahead and update your smoke detectors, smoke detectors in the hallways, ran some smoke detectors in the bedroom too. These are all battery operated, so they don't interconnect. If one goes off, the next one won't go off. But they did what I like to see. So you put a, a smoke alarm here and a smoke alarm there to protect the bedrooms. And then you put another smoke alarm in the bedrooms to protect all the other bedrooms. What they didn't do is they didn't put a carbon monoxide detector to protect these bedrooms from that garage door. So that garage door does not close on its own. It's been misadjusted. These are self-closing hinges. That one and the bottom one are self-closing hinges, but they're out of alignment or out of use right now. So the door isn't closing. So you wanna worry about carbon monoxide coming from the garage and going in here, especially when this door doesn't seal. Now, out to the garage, there's not a whole lot going off on out here. We've got an old A.O. Smith water heater that's doing a good job today. I'd like to see a pan under that for safety, protect that plenum from any, from any water damage. I'd like to see a drip leg on the gas line, not a big deal. TPR valve right there is connected to hard rigid pipe going to the exterior. And we've got our exhaust fluid that is connected with sheet metal screws, which we like to see. So this is why I worry about carbon monoxide right there. It's because if this flue pipe gets knocked off or for some reason it puts out some carbon monoxide, it goes right in there. So you need some protection.